everybody's good today. Wait for some more people to join. Looks like it's going to be a wonderful day today. So the things you're going to need, I have linked in the description um, in this video. So you're going to need um, pipe cleaners. You're going to need tape or hot glue. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need markers, crayons, um, and um, coffee filters and some paper. I would say probably about three sheets of paper, maybe four. It's just in case you mess up. And then don't forget to put a covering on your table so your table doesn't get messed up. Um, so these are what we're doing today. I'm going to teach you how to do beautiful flowers out of coffee filters. And they all look a little different depending on um, how you do them. And we're going to color them. Here's another one. A little white one and a pink one. Hi for everybody that's just joining. We're going to be making these flowers today. All right. So I'm going to put these aside really quick. Oh, you're also going to need a jar if you have a jar. I had a really tall one, so yeah. All right, so let me put this aside right here. For now, maybe right here so you can see it a little bit. Okay, all right. Um, so hello to everybody that's joining. We're going to be doing paper flowers today. What you're going to need is coffee filters. Uh, I would say at least six to eight coffee filters for per one flower. Uh, you're also going to need some pipe cleaners depending on how many flowers you're going to make. Uh, crayons, markers, at least four sheets of paper in case you mess up and you need extra hot glue, uh, tape, and scissors. I think I said scissors. Okay. Once you have those things together, I'm going to set these aside, give you a few minutes to gather some things. While I try to situate here. Hello, everybody just joining. Okay, put my pipe cleaners aside. All right, coffee filters. You're going to need six to eight coffee filters. Um... I'm going to count out, I'm going to do six. The, the, less, the, least, the less amount of coffee filters you have, the smaller your flower is going to be. So I'm going to do six um, coffee filters for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll show you the example for those of you that are just joining. Welcome to my art show. Thanks for popping in and saying hey. Okay, so we're doing these... Um, cute little coffee filter flowers and I'm going to teach you how to make them. Okay, I figure since it was spring uh, and everybody is cooped up inside, <clears throat> excuse me, that this would be a great thing to make um, to spruce up your table or your room or you know on your um, little nightstand or something. Um, I, when I got married four years ago, did my own flowers for my wedding, and I did paper flowers. I even did a paper flower bouquet, and it turned out really cute. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so to start out, you're going to have your filters. How many did I say I had? Six, right? So I have six filters. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to color it first. So you're going to figure out what colors you want. You can do it with crayons or markers. I did these. With crayons and basically all I did was scribble on them and I did in the middle I did um, a darker color in the middle with a little bit of yellow there and this one was a rainbow which I thought was really cute I thought that'd be pretty um, but I like to do the darker in the middle because it makes it look uh, more like a flower you know because flowers in the middle are a little darker because it's dense okay so put these back here all right so then you're just gonna start um, doing your coloring your flower now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use marker for this one because I did the crayons on the other ones Let me see if I can put these in the shot a little bit so you can see them see them okay so I'm gonna um, yeah I'm gonna use markers first to see how that works because I haven't tried the markers and I mean art is all about trying different things right you don't if you don't try you'll never know um, hi miss Lori greetings to you too 
Miss Lori uh, works at our front desk at City Museum, and she's been there for a very long time. How long have you been there, Miss Lori? I've been there 13 years, and I think she's been there longer than me. I know, in fact, I know she has. Okay, um, so I'm just going to start coloring my my flowers. Whatever colors, she could do stripes, she could do whatever. You know, whatever you want to do. So just start coloring them. And you're going to do all of, you're going to color all of them. Um, if you want, anyway. Just going to put some colors. Now, uh, when you're doing this on your flowers, you want to remember that on the edges, you're going to be cutting some of the edges off. So to make, to give it shape, right? So, um, you're going to want to color further down onto, onto your coffee filter. So that when you cut it, you're not taking all the color off. Now on the pink one that I did here, I did the back side of the, of the flower too on both sides. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time. That one took an awfully long time to do. If you have a lot of time on your hands, which I know a lot of you do, um, right now, you can um, color the back if you'd like. But for the sake of this video and um, keeping it not as long, we're just gonna, I'm just going to color the front. Now it looks like with these markers that the coffee filter kind of sucks the ink really good. So you might want to be mindful of that when you're doing your flower. So there's one. I did one. And I think I'm going to do different colors on all of them. Now it's bleeding through. So remember, if you're doing this on your table with marker, you want to make sure you have a covering like a wax paper or something down so you don't ruin your... So you do not ruin your ta your kitchen table, all right? On to the next color. And I'm doing pink. All right. And you could do different colors like my rainbow flower. If you wanted to do the rainbow, you could do a different color there. Rainbows. And just color your coffee filters. However, scribble them. Scribbling looks fine because you're going to squish them up anyway, so the scribbling is just, just fine. All right. That one done. On to the next. And what you're going to need for those is, if you're doing one, at least six to eight coffee filters. You're going to need markers, crayons, hot glue or tape or both, uh, pipe cleaners, Two, uh, at least three to four pieces of paper, a pair of scissors, and that's what you'll need for this project. Okay, so that one here on to the next new color. I guess I'll put some orange in there because why not? Oh, hi! How are you doing, Zion? Are you going to make the project today with us? All right, color away. Trying to color pretty fast here. I think it would have looked really neat if I would have done stripes also. Be careful you don't tear your coffee filter. I just tore the side of mine, so I'm gonna be mindful of that. Maybe a yellow. Oh, that's brown. Yellow. And I think after this one, I have one more to go. Can everybody see my... Can you see what I'm doing here? Did I have it covered up? I think I probably had it covered up. Sorry. <laughs> oh, is it Josie? Hi, Josie. Nice to meet you. I hope you make our project today. You're gonna love it so much. So much fun. Okay, so I'm almost done coloring these. All right, and I have one more because I picked six, but you can do up to, you can do as many as you want. But, you know, I don't know how many coffee filters people have right now. I don't know what your stockpile is. My stockpile's pretty okay on coffee filters. 
I love my coffee. I have a Keurig and a drip pot. Alright. And I'm almost done coloring my flowers. See, just a little bit of scribbles. That's all you need. For those of you just joining, we are doing these um, paper flowers out of coffee filters. All right, so now that I have all of my, I'm gonna set this aside because it's in my way. Ooh. Okay, now that I have all my coffee filters colored, now I'm gonna figure out um, what order I want them in. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking I want the darkers, the darkers in the middle. So I think I want to do the pink, orange, and then just go from there. Liner, pink, you know, yellow. I think maybe I put yellow right in the middle because it's the middle of the flower. And then if that's the case, then I probably would want to color that middle part in because that's the middle, you know. Color that in. Maybe do a couple of different colors on it, a different, maybe a different yellow, you know. Give it some different color there. Maybe a little darker yellowy brown. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see this because I didn't do this on the other ones, but we're gonna find out. Probably not, I, I'm probably not. I mean, it, maybe. Okay, that's done. Next step is, um, Oh, you're gonna fold your fold it in half your whole stack you're gonna take your whole stack and you're gonna fold it just like that for a second and then you're gonna take your scissors and very easily you gotta do this easy because you don't want to cut too big of a hole or too big of the slit because then you're gonna have problems with your uh, pipe cleaners when it comes time for that so you're gonna cut just like that so you're gonna cut a I think, can you see that? All right, and then you're gonna cut over a little bit. Same, right? See, I did that one a little too big. I hope it didn't mess my mess my flowers up. Oops. I know, doesn't it? It does look like a ta taco. Incidentally, um, Mexican food is my favorite. Love tacos. Okay, uh, now that you have those cut, next step is to uh, just to check it out a little bit. All right, then you're going to fold it back like you just had it. All right. Once you have it folded like your taco, like Morgan says, you're going to fold it like that, and then you're going to fold it again in half. So then now it kind of looks like a triangle, right? Just like so. Or a fan. Ooh. Yeah. Hi, Emily. Okay. Um, now you're going to take your scissors. And now this is the tricky part. Um, it depends on what kind of flower, how you want it to look. So if you do these, this shape, okay, um, this is what your flower is gonna look like. If you do a triangle shape, so like if you cut triangles out, you know, up and down, it's gonna look like this. So if you cut like this, okay, it's gonna turn out looking like this. So it looks like the petals are a little more, um, you know, crazy out there. I really do like this one a lot. This is one of my favorites. And then I have one where I did a mixture of them and this is the first one that I did. And this one was, um, okay, so I took, I took my paper and I cut like a little wave all the way around it. Can you see that? And then when I got up to the middle, I did the um, the triangles again, like I just showed you. So the round is like a wave, like a lace wave, and then the middle is the little triangles. And I think that's this one looks really cute too. <clears throat> so it depends on how you want to cut it. If you want to cut them in different shapes, then you have to take some of these out before you start. All right. <clears throat> so maybe I'll do that. <coughs> maybe. I'll do this one different than the rest of them, okay? I'll do the first two different than the rest of them. There we go. So these I'll do zigzag, all right? I mean, like the little teeth looking things, pointy triangles, okay? So fold it like we had it.
All right. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to start that and then down and then kind of tricky. You got to work with it. And up and then down. See how I'm doing that? All right. So this is how it's turning out. See that? And then you're just going to keep doing that all the way till you get to the other side, right? So that's, that is the little zigzag triangle looking ones. And this is the one, these are, this is the middle of my, this is going to be the middle of my flower. Oh, good. I'm glad you can see it well. Very nice. All right. Here. You know, if you had like some essential oils or something, you could stick, um, you could stick it in, like in a little spray bottle, or if you had like little perfume or body spray, you could spray spritz these with like a flowery scent, and they smell like flowers. I thought that was cool. All right, so now I'm going to set that aside because I have done that before with these flowers. Set that aside. And all these little pieces, you know what I say: always clean up your area. Don't leave a messy area. It's easier to clean up when you're finished, that's for sure. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm not gonna open it yet. Surprise. Okay, and then I'm gonna start with this. We're gonna fold this one and fold this one again. So we did this again. And then this time, I think I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do the little uh, rainbow looking shape. So like this. And just keep going. You're just gonna keep going all the way around. Oh, I think my flower's uneven. Oh no. Oh well, it'll give it some character, right? Now this is too much, so I'm just gonna cut some of that off, get rid of that, and continue. Remember, the more you cut off, the smaller the flower is gonna be. So the further down you go on here when you're cutting, the smaller it'll be. Just remember that when you're doing it. I think mine is going to be off a little bit in the shape because my paper isn't folded proper. And that's okay. It's all right. Put these aside. Set your scissors down. All right. Now we're going to open our stuff up. Oh, I'm so glad he cleans up his area. What a great kid you have. Okay. Then you're gonna open it up and it should look like this. Okay, those are my bottom flowers, part of my flower, and this is the middle part. So remember I picked two for the middle because I want it to be kind of fluffy, you know, and this is the middle. So then you're gonna take those and you're gonna, remember how we cut our, those little slits in there? You're gonna take those and you're gonna try to put them the same way as the other ones, okay? Now, if you don't have pipe cleaners, but you have wires or, um, like any kind of electrical wire um, that's extra, or um, you could probably even use paper, I would imagine, to stick into the slits and then hot glue it together to make a um, stick if you, don't, if you don't have that. There's all different ways you can make your stem. You just gotta get creative. All right, then you're, uh, I, have, I have pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna take my pipe cleaners and I'm gonna put two together because that makes it a little more sturdy. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to put two together. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to put these down in the stem. See that? So the reason we have those papers is because we're going to be doing leaves and stems. Zion, has Zion ever came to City Museum? Ah, Thank you. All right, and then just twist these up. Once you have them twisted, all right, once you got them twisted, you're gonna take your um, your pipe cleaner or whatever you have that you're making your stem with. Um, you could probably even do bread ties if you had a lot of them. You could do bread ties. You'd have to tie them together, but you could do it. And then very easily, oop. 
All right, very easily you want to put it into the papers, a little at a time. You don't, you don't want to rip it, so you want to be easy, all right? Oh, for his fourth birthday, well, when we reopen, you're going to have to come back up there. Maybe for his eighth birthday. <laughs> okay, then you're going to put your pipe cleaners in. See how I'm doing that? So just keep going. Push it in. Do it again and just keep going. All right. And again. All right, I did six. I don't know how many you did. All right, so then you're going to put it halfway down, right? So now you have this halfway and this halfway, like this, right? Now you're going to take this one and um, you're going to push that through all of those other holes on the other side that we did, right? So we're going to start on that now. Here and just kind of work it in until you got it in there. And just work it around because I noticed that some of my flowers weren't even. So you just turn the coffee filters around if you got to get them even. All right. And then once you have it in that right there, you're going to take your pipe cleaners and you're going to pull, right? You don't want to tear your coffee filters, but you want to pull. All right. So then you're going to have this. This is what it's going to look like inside. All right. Right there. You see that? Right there. All right, and then on the back side, it's going to look like this. And then you're going to twist. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. Um, you're going to twist. I think I just got him a free uh, a trip to City Museum, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so then you're going to twist like this. All right. Keep twisting until you get all the way down to the end. Now, if you don't want these little pieces sticking up kind of, Fold them and work it till you can't feel that anymore. That's what I like to do because there's pokey at the end of that. So just kind of work with it until you can't feel it anymore. So you don't hurt yourself when you're messing with it. All right, now that you got your stem, uh, next step is to scrunch it. So we're going to scrunch, all right? This is the fun part, yet sometimes difficult. For those of you just joining, we're doing paper flowers with coffee filters. All right. Start with the middle one, the one at the top, and you're going to take it, and you're going to squish it. Can I do that? Squish it. One, and you're going to move on to the next one. Take it, squish it around that one. Um, I For this one, I'm using six, but you could do up to eight or more, however many you want to do, but this one, this one is for six. This big one right here is eight. I did eight filters for this one. So the, so this one was six, and this one was eight, this one was six, and I believe this was a six. All right. And then just keep going. Squish. Try not, now try not to tear. You gotta be easy that you don't tear your coffee filter around your pipe cleaner, because I did that with one of them, right? Just keep squishing. You wanna really squish right there at the edge though. You gotta be easy, but you really wanna squish right there because that's gonna, that's gonna help hold your flower from flopping down. Now, if it keeps flopping, you can hot glue it or, um, you can maybe use some tape to stick it to itself. The whole goal is to not use hot glue to stick it together, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes it don't wanna work proper. All right, and then the last one, same thing. Squish. Now it looks like mine is kinda of trying to rip down there at the bottom. And that's okay. Now that you have that all squished, I'm gonna show you a trick here. Got this squished like this down there, okay? Then you're gonna take your tape. This is where you need tape. I don't think you can use hot glue with this. Um, and you're gonna tape around that. And what this is doing is, it's helping to hold your flower. So see how I did that? I just, right around there. And if you want it to look like greenery, you can always color this, you know, the tape. 
but right now I'm not going to color it, but you can if you want. All right, now I have this and it looks kind of blue. I mean, it's okay, but all right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to start undoing your flower very easily. Start undoing it, all right, little at a time. And you're going to see how pretty this turns out when you're done. Look at the middle. The middle looks really good. It looks like, well, like a flower. Like a little bee would want to go in there and get some nectar. Right? Alright. I don't, I'm not sure about the markers. I think I like the crayons on mine. Well, maybe it looks alright. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, this is so cute! Ah! It turned out better than I thought it was going to. Yay! Love when that happens. All right, are you ready to see the finished product? So that's what mine looks like. And that actually turned out really cool with those markers. Ah, how fun. I love it when I surprise myself. Okay, so now that we have that, the next step, once you get this done, the next step is going to be your uh, stem, the way we're going to do the stem, all right? So you can use either markers or crayons for the stem. You know, put the, I mean, this is pretty sturdy like this. This one actually... It doesn't really need one. I could just leave it like this. But to show you how to do it, um, we're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to color it. Um, whatever color. Maybe I'll do blue. I'll do blue. And um, just kind of decorate it, right? However, I'm going to put more than one color on it. Because why not? I feel like you're not going to see this whole thing because I'm going to roll it up. But you will see the ends. Maybe I should just work with it here. Alright. That. And then another blue, maybe. And that. Maybe some green because it is a flower stem. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Alright. Oh, that green's wearing out. You know you can redo your markers too. You can add stuff to them to, you can add alcohol to them to revive them. If I was going to teach you that, I'd have to do a whole other episode though. Teach you how to make alcohol markers. Oh! I'm so glad you're liking it. I'm going to set this aside because it's done. And then, here. All right, now I'm gonna take um, the paper, and I've done this in two other videos before to show you how to roll these. Take your paper and kind of fold the edge like that. This is tricky, it takes a while to get this. Oh, once you get it folded, um, you wanna start doing it really small, all right? Try to roll it so it's nice and small. There we go. And then tape or hot glue the stick. Thought I was going to need my hot glue today, but I guess I don't. And then I like to cut that off. Right. Cut the ends off so now it looks like just a stick. Ooh, that's a that's a good one too. All right, and then now, um, one of your other pieces of paper, you're gonna do some petals, all right? So you're gonna take um, take a piece of paper, and you're gonna, oh wait, this one's out. And you're gonna make some petals. Just some little petal shapes, and I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you my example here in a sec. I think I want maybe two petals on it. Maybe two, just like that. Then I'm going to take another one, another marker, and I'll make a line because, you know. All right. So this is what my petals look like. And now, <coughs> pardon me, what you want to do is when we cut these out, you want to cut out a little lower than the color, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Cut this out here so it's not such a big piece of paper I'm cutting on. All right. Then you're going to take your uh, leaf, 
that around it. We could fix it, but I'm just doing that because we need kind of a long end. Okay, so see how I did that right there? You're going to do that, and then you're going to take this, and you're going to cut it like that, right? You're going to do that to both of them. So cut, cut the leaf like this. All right. Right. Flowers are fun. I went to Lowe's yesterday to get flowers. Mm. Wasn't happening. They had a huge long line and and people everywhere and I didn't want to stand in the line. All right. Um now you're going to take scissors or I'm going to use hot glue for this part because it's easier. Um, well, not hot glue yet. Take that back. Set your leaves aside. Leaves aside. I'm getting ahead of myself here. You're going to take your flower stem and you're going to poke it into this, all right? Poke it into that. And does that tape will actually kind of go down in to that. See that? It goes down into that stem, right? Now, what you can do is you can oh, take that back up and you can put a little bit of hot glue right, uh, can you see that? A little bit of hot glue right inside the stick, all right? And then what's gonna happen is when you push this down, uh, your flower is gonna stick in there and it's not gonna come out. There you go, there's that. Now I have a stem uh, on my flower and then now we're gonna add our petals, all right? So petals, um, I like to, um, you're gonna take your petal and where you put your little line, you're gonna fold it just a little bit, make a little crease there, right? So it kind of looks like a petal. And then you, this part right here, you're gonna fold that down, that white part that I said leave, leave, ha ha, leave, that's funny. You're gonna, you're gonna fold that white part of your leaf down and then you're gonna hot glue that or tape it to your, um, to your stem, right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. Remember, always put the hot glue on the big piece and never the small piece because safety first. You don't want to burn yourself. All right, here. Now, I'm used to hot glue because I work with it all the time. My hands are a little more durable than most with that. All right, so there is the one leaf, and then I'm going to do the other leaf same way. Fold it in the crease. And then bend this part down, the white part of the leaf that we left. And then remember, that part is going to get hot glued onto your stem. Wherever you want it, I think it'd look cute right there, right? Or maybe up here with the other one. Yeah, maybe up here. All right. And since this is pretty big, I'm going to put the glue right there, a little dot. And then stick it right onto my flower. Can you see that? And then look how that turned out. All right. We made flowers to decorate our table. Um, if you have a glass jar, those extra pieces that you were cutting off, those long pieces that you were cutting off, you can hot glue those or tie them to your jar. The jar is just so you have something to stick your flowers in. But you can hot glue or tie this to the jar. And I made a little bow, and I'll show you how to make the little bow. It's super simple. So you just take a strip of paper. All right. Um, all my papers are got issues here. Uh, so just cut off. If you have any extra little pieces there, just cut it off. You don't want the. You just want it like that. Or you can take another coffee filter if you have it. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that um, and you're just gonna fold it like that and then take this side and fold it in on itself like that. So now it looks like this and then you're gonna scrunch it, right? Scrunch it together and twist. And then hot glue it onto your jar. That's it. 
That's a bow. Look how easy that was to do. And then this is how it turns out. I put tape around mine uh, to make it look more bow-like. But if you wanted to take a piece of the paper and wrap around it and tape it, you could do that as well. But that's how it turned out. And this is my, um, my little jar of beautiful paper flowers. And I hope all of you had fun. Um, and you can make a ton of them and put them all around the house to fancy your house up, right? And that'd be great, Amy, if you do some. If you do them, whoever has done these, and if you do some, please take pictures and post them in our comments on this video so I can see what they all, I'd love to see what all of them turn out to look like. Uh, and thanks for making flowers with me today. I had a lot of fun and I hope to see you. Let's see, today is Thursday. So I, won't, I will be back on tonight for a more adult project um, at seven o'clock tonight. So if you want to join me at seven o'clock tonight to do a fun special project, I will be doing it then as well. And then after that, I think um, I'm not back on until Monday. So if you want to do another project, come back at seven at City Museum Facebook page and I'll be doing another thing. If you're interested in any uh, information with City about City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org and um, look it all up. And uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope all your flowers turn out beautiful.